I want to show you this amazing tool. It's called Adobe Presenter Video Express, and it's a part of the new Adobe Presenter. You can see here that I've just started the tool. I click the big red record button to get started, and then I get a nice little countdown to let myself know that I'm ready to work with the content. Now, because I launched it from PowerPoint, I'm actually seeing a PowerPoint presentation. I can also play other files on my computer. I can sort through an application. Here you see, for example, that I'm actually playing back a video uh, created by a user in Adobe Presenter Video Express. When I'm finished, I just stop the recording, and now I'm ready to start the editing. When I'm ready to put my project together, I click play to start the playback of the project. Yellow is you, green is the screen, and blue is bold. So all I need to do is press green to see whatever was on my computer screen at the time I made the recording. If I want to see both side-by-side -side views of myself doing the presentation and the screen, I simply click the blue option. I can click green, yellow, and blue back and forth uh, however I like. One of the great enhancements in this version of Adobe Presenter Video Express is now you can click directly on the timeline and move those transitions to any position that you might want them to be located in. You also have wonderful control over zooming and panning in the space. Click the little magnifying glass and you can see that all I have to do is then click and drag and I can automatically create a zoom. Now zooms are mobile too. You can actually click that zoom and move it into any location. So if I want, for example, that zoom to appear in that position, I can click play, and then automatically that zoom will be in that location. When I edit it, no problem, click right on it to select it. You can even click the delete key to remove that zoom effect. It's easier than ever to edit your materials as well. Simply click on the little plus symbol to get started with that edit, and then click the space bar in order to stop it. Click check to approve that and you'll see you even get a preview of what that little transition will look like. Of course it's easy to make modifications there too. You can simply drag it and move it into the position as you like. You can also add some great branding to your Presenter Video Express projects. If you'd like to have a lower third text you can place that anywhere you'd like. And you can even place your lower third text in various locations. When you're done, you can publish your Presenter Video Express files out to YouTube, Vimeo, Adobe Connect. You can also publish them as MP4 video files, the most universal of the video file formats. Now you can also track how much of your video has actually been viewed by the people who you invited to watch it. And you can export back into PowerPoint where you can use Adobe Presenter to add quizzes and other interactives. Check out the new Adobe Presenter Video Express, a part of Adobe Presenter.